Four Beings Who Take Care of the World, Part 1 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on January 2nd, 2021. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, Happy New Year. Are you uh, going out, party, and all that New Year time? No. <laughs> huh? No. 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 Me neither. Join the club. Yes. We are working hard so that others can enjoy a New Year, huh? Okay. Yes. Very good. Uh, I'm going to read you the story again, yeah, okay? Okay. Yes. <laughs> From the Jewish folklore. You don't mind? No. Mm. Thank, you, thank, you, thank you for listening. Yes. I'm worried maybe later I'm getting older. I cannot read anymore, so I'm hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Every couple of days, uh, you know, force you to listen to a story. Mm. Bedtime story. I'm sorry, you have to listen. <laughs> yeah, I'm just joking. Everybody also wants to listen, right? Yeah. It's just that you are in one group, you know? Yes. And it's easier for, for me. Anytime I have time, I, I can always uh, um, read a story, yeah? Mm. Yes, yes, Master. Or I'll tell you things. But if I want to talk to your brothers and sisters outside your group, I have to wait until, <laughs> you know, Sunday. <laughs> Saturday or Sunday, yes. That's why some kids think that when they grow up, they want to be a supreme master. <laughs> Work only on Sunday, yes. <laughs> or maybe uh, uh, one week per year or something like that. <laughs> Did you... Like the story last time? Yes, 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 sir. yes. The ghost? Yeah? Were you scared? <laughs> no. no. When you go to the bathroom last time? <laughs> huh? Scared or not? No, no. Tell me the truth. <laughs> but the skunk was scared. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he listened to the story and then... He was uh, screaming, yeah, and I, I was thinking somebody was hurting him or yes. some problem, you know. <laughs> so I asked him, "What's wrong? What's wrong?" He running and crying. First, cry very loud in one place, and then louder, louder, and then run, run, run. When I came to ask, he he ran away. I said, "What's wrong? Something wrong?" He said, "Some zealous ghost is scaring me." I said, didn't hurt you? He said, something I know. I wasn't sure, so I asked the squirrel. Squirrel said, also no. And I said, how come the zealous go there to come here? And the squirrel said, no, it's just a cat. <laughs> no, not the ghost. I said, that he was screaming like, like he was so terrified or hurt or something. Oh, oh just a cat? So the squirrel told me, uh, because he never saw, I said, why is he is so afraid of the cat? Did, did the cat bite him or scare him or something? No, he said, no, because I was scolding the cat, you know, the cat. I was thinking, is this because I saw him also around. So I asked him, <laughs> cat said, no, no, <laughs> do nothing. <laughs> Maybe they ate from the same plate, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, no wonder the plate is all clean, you know, most of the time. Both of them share. It just happened that probably he came in the same time as the cat. Or maybe he was uh, trying to eat and then the cat came suddenly in front of him, you know? Uh -huh. I said, but why is he so scared of just a, a cat? And then the squirrel told me because he never saw a cat before in his life. <laughs> 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 and the way he cried, the way he cried. 
I mean, I was so worried about him last night. I keep praying for him, asking him things, and asking all the gods and angels to protect him. But today I was laughing so much. He made me laugh so much because the way he cried, you know. I imagine just like a kid, you know, carry away. <laughs> so scared like that. And it was just a cat. And the cat didn't do anything to him. I, I threatened the cat already. I say, if you touch one hair of the skunk, mm, <laughs> I will deal with you. <laughs> he said, no, 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 nothing, no, nothing, nothing. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't sound funny when I tell you now, yeah? But it's so funny, all day I was thinking about that. I was I was laughing so much because my imagination ran wide, you know, <laughs> thinking the way he, he cried very... He first cried like somebody took something from him, the toys from the kids, you know? He's only an adolescent, you know, only five months old now, something like that. <laughs> it was... <laughs> He was so scared that he froze there, and then he was crying louder and louder, and I was worried something was wrong. Came out, I saw a cat on one side, a few meters away, and he's running somewhere, I don't know where, <laughs> crying all the way, wee, 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 <laughs> all the way home. <laughs> it was so funny, that guy, <laughs> so funny, funny. And then later, because I thought it was a cat, but he said, no, it's a zealous ghost, demons, scary demons. <laughs> so I don't know which one to believe, myself or or the, the skunk, you know? <laughs> and then I told him, I keep well, asking him whether or not he's okay, yeah? And I, when I open the door and ask him again, he's, he, he responds to me, <laughs> like that. <laughs> this guy is so cute, my God, so cute how he understood that I'm talking to him, you know? I know I call his name, but he, he answered me, even though he, he was scared, uh, crying before, but he answered me in all cuteness, you know, and loveliness. <laughs> I mean, I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> oh, that's what I think, what the skunk language is. And he can talk a lot, he can talk a lot. Many times when there is something important to tell me, he came to the window or something and made a lot of talk. <laughs> wow. And then I say, you're too fast, I don't get it. what are you saying, you know, slow down, slow down. And then I just give up because he keep on and on and I say, you done? <laughs> you done? <laughs> I have to go and find a translator now. <laughs> I'm so cute. He's so wonderful. My God, I saw him only two times, but I'm so in love with him. Such a beautiful being, you know. The way he answered me, you know. When I talk, I call him and say, ah, ah, you know. <laughs> and then last time, a long time ago, when the dogs went missing, yeah, I called the names of the dogs. And he was eating nearby, you know, and he helped me to call the dogs. Believe it or not. <laughs> wow. I call many times. When I call one time, you know, one name, you know, like uh, maybe love. And he also said, ah, and then I said, love, where are you? Ah, 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 like that. Wow. <laughs> I call for a long time, you know. I said, okay, okay, I don't think they understand you. Never mind, <laughs> I do it myself. <laughs> and then he didn't stop until I went inside and, and stopped calling. He really helped me to call. <laughs> oh my God, such a beautiful animal. Oh, I could love the animals forever. I don't know how anyone has the heart to even harm them or kill them or do something bad to them. All right, my dear. Okay, I'm asking you the first lesson before I begin the second. What did you take away last time from the stories? Tell me. Hmm? The moral of it? <laughs> Didn't learn anything. Forgot about it. Too scared, right? <laughs> you too scared, huh? Oh, okay, right. I pretend that I know something, I tell you. First of all, if you're married, have only one wife. Don't have two, okay? <laughs> and don't even marry with, <laughs> with a, you know, demon's uh, wife. Got that? Yes, yes. <laughs> ah. And if you really want to leave her half of your uh, house or the basement, you have it written down for them, yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah. And then tell, tell, tell all the house, never open that basement. Oh, you will die. Yeah. 
So scary. <laughs> That's the first lesson, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. And I told you already, it's not fair, is it? I mean, the ghost, how can she go to make a legal uh, statement or, or document? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Even at that time, uh, she came to the, the court, people could not see her. Yeah? Only heard the voice. So I guess she could not even sign the document either, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, Poor ghost, you know, it's not fair. But this is the thing. Of course, it's not fair. It's also a man's fault, right? It's not a her fault alone. No? It takes two to tango, right? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Mm. The man was not so greedy, no? And, uh, uh, how say, seduced by appearance, this desirous energy or something like that. Yeah. So it's not her fault alone, no? I mean, the ghost, okay? It's not the demon's, uh, female demon fault alone. And she even bought children for him and all that. It's just like a wife, you know? Anyway, oh, what else would I say? Yeah, this is the thing, you know, a man, man cannot always say no, yeah? <laughs> and that's a problem. Mm. And then blame it all on the woman, yeah? Uh, but it's not always that easy, yeah? Women, they're soft-hearted. And when they hear some sweet, sweet words, some uh, praising words, you know, like, you're beautiful, or your hair is nice, uh, your clothes are nice, suit you, make you look like princess, whatever like that, you know. And then uh, they just uh, melt and then they come along, yeah, to the man, even though they know he's married already. I mean, humans are also like that. Not not just ghosts, yeah? Humans are also like that. That's one thing. And another thing is ghosts or demons, they should never stay among living beings. Yeah, it's not allowed. But they like to, because living beings, animals or humans, uh, have this uh, good energy. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, my yes. 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 Yeah, it's more lively energy and the true energy, whereas ghosts, they don't have it. Yeah. Uh, so even though some are very powerful, where they cannot even pick up, you know, something like this. Some are very powerful. They can, they can open doors, they can, you know, throw a tantrum. But some cannot open doors, they cannot open door knob, and they cannot move things. But some are powerful, they can, yeah, but just that. After a while, they're exhausted, they cannot continue like, like us, no? Like us, when we do labor work, uh, we can move uh, furniture all day long, huh? Many people do that as a, as a job, you know, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, um, ghosts, they don't have all that uh, energy, because they're dead. They don't have physical stamina like we have. Hmm? Hmm. They have all the advantages, though. Yeah, like they can move anywhere very fast, and nobody can see them, nobody can do anything harmful to them. Oh, man, yes, yes, can also. Some uh, more powerful ghosts, they will harass them also. That happens. It doesn't mean it doesn't happen. It's just that they are more free than us in some ways. They can move anywhere they want, fast, they don't need bus ticket, they don't have to earn money or to buy a ticket or anything. <laughs> they don't need to buy airplane ticket or reserve in advance or anything like that. <laughs> but they cannot stay among the living. That's why many places that have been abandoned for a long time, ghosts will stay there. And then people say, oh, that house is haunted, yeah. yes? Because a long time nobody has stayed there. And then when some newcomers come, then they will make trouble. The ghosts will throw tantrums to try to throw them out. And then people get scared, and then they, they, they move. Then they can possess the house. There are many ghost films like that. There are true stories also. They came from some true stories. Mm-hmm. 